Hello everyone. Um, this is going to be an, um, just a massive pickup video. Um, I had intended to kind of do this as I went, but I just got so busy with other stuff that I'm left with a pile of crap that I've gotten over the past probably two months from Goodwills and other thrift stores and stuff that I haven't done like the the pickup video of it so I'm just gonna do everything at once and then try to keep caught up as I go um, I'm probably gonna split this up still into a couple different parts because otherwise it's gonna be too long it's gonna be like a 40 minute video or some crap so I'm gonna try to keep this split up into like maybe 10 or 15 minute segments um, first up <clears throat> I want to show what I've gotten uh, at the Goodwill outlet store that's probably like an hour or so away from where I live. Um, in case you don't know what it is, um, certain districts for Goodwills, they have what they call Goodwill outlet stores. And what that is, is they get pretty much everything that doesn't sell for whatever reason at all the different Goodwills in that district and they ship it to one central store um, it's basically a big open warehouse and they dump everything into like deep tables and my lights falling down they dump everything into deep tables and sell everything pretty much by the pound um, there are some except exceptions, like they have furniture, TVs, or technically, like media stuff, like movies and video games and stuff, are technically supposed to be separately priced. But they all dump it. If if it's dumped in the table, we pretty much just you know put it in bags and pay by the pound. And it normally it actually is more expensive if you pay by the pound but <coughs> and for the media stuff but whatever um so this stuff i've paid 50 50 some odd cents i think it's like 56 or maybe 59 or something like that cents a pound um and that price is only good if you spend more than or if you buy more than 50 pounds at a time if you buy less then it's a little bit more per pound but when we go, we pretty much buy over 50 pounds um, of, of stuff. So this stuff I all got for 50 some cents a pound. Some of this stuff, I mean, it's not like great stuff. But for the price, you know, whatever. Um, this first thing is box PC game. It's an educational title, but for the price, I really don't care. Uh, Midnight Rescue. Again, I just, I like box art. And Operation Neptune. I got that. Um, uh, what else is in here? Bunch of crap. I got this programming um, book, C by Dissect Dissection. I don't even know if it's any good or not, but, you know, it's cheap. I also bought... I'm going to be saying that a lot if I keep saying that. Um, a complete uh, March, April, 84 Atari Age magazine, but the front cover and back covers kind of tore up. But I found all the pieces to it, and I just thought it would be kind of cool to look through. Um, and some of the stuff's just random stuff. Like I got this Polaroid Spectra SE um, camera which I don't remember. There we go. I haven't tested it out to see if it works. Um, there's film in it, but I don't know if the film in it's any good or if the battery... It, it, actually, it says ready, so... It, hmm, hold on a minute. Hey, dog. Back up. Yeah, I don't know. It um, hold on. Maybe if I push that. 
I really shouldn't be doing this on camera. But, um, yeah, so I picked this up because I looked it up, and, you know, sometimes these old Polaroid cameras, the newer old Polaroid cameras can actually be worth a little bit of money on eBay. Um, this is composite cable for the Wii, I believe. Um, post-it notes. This stuff from here is going to be kind of like, why are you showing me this? But it's in here, so it's easier. And then I got this bag. What we normally do is when we get there, we kind of dig and find um, like fabric shopping bags just to like fill stuff up in so then we have it already in a bag when we check out and I got this little um, messenger bag I don't know if I'm gonna use it or do anything with it but I just thought it was kinda cool looking same trip I got this other bag don't bother me I'm crabby <laughs> it's funny cuz it's true um, this Game Boy case um, there's nothing in it, but it has the little tray. Just nothing in it, though. Um, empty uh, NES case. I got ink cartridges, which I get them because if you take them to Staples, I think you can trade them in or recycle them for like two dollars a a cartridge so I always grab these if I see them another empty NES cartridge and some PC games and stuff Rebel Assault uh, Command and Conquer Red Alert um, Tropico Pirate Cove Tropico 2 Pirate Cove Tropico um, I got this because it was sealed, um, a Jennifer Lopez CD, uh, Civilization Call to Power, and yeah, it's actually in there, Too Extreme for PS1, and then I got this because it was, is it something from Spencer's, um, Rob Zombie's Carnival of Souls, Halloween Takeover CD-ROM, I don't know, whatever, and finally, I got this from a different trip. Um, a Ninja Gaiden 3, little uh, Tiger Electronics handheld. Can't remember the name Tiger. Um, at a nearby thrift store there. That's all I got from. No, oh, wait, there's another bag. My mistake. I also got another trip. Um, what crap is this? It's Deathmatch Maker um, for Quake 2. I only got this because it was, well, a PC game and, or related to PC gaming and it's boxed. Uh, 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 the Mist, Mist for Macintosh? Uh, I think this is in here. Yeah. Uh, Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. Uh, Frankenstein Through the Eyes of the Monster. I got this, um, I don't even know if this is actually on here or if it works, but it's, um, Gamma Force for the Apple II and an Infocom, uh, floppy sleeve. Also, I only got this because I, I it was a Sega floppy sleeve and I thought that was kind of cool, but it's, um, handwritten Transylvania data disc. It's probably nothing, but I like the, um, floppy sleeve. Um, I didn't even look at this one. Oh, it's actually not scratched. Uh, Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock for 360. Battle Chess for PC. Um, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs for PC, which is actually a decent find there. Um, and then I got Quirks. For a PC, um, I have no idea what it's actually about. But when I go there, I any PC game that I know is worth something, or that I've never heard of, or I'm just interested in mildly, I'll pick up. 
And I also bought, I don't know why, I just picked this up. Um, it's a SideQuest, uh, do, 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 easy drive, little internal like thingy. I don't know. It might probably doesn't even work, but I just figured I'd grab it. Why not? And I think that's it for the Goodwill Outlet store. And nearby that, well, it's maybe 20 minutes away or something. Um, there's a uh, another thrift store that I've never did video of yet. Um, I will eventually, but I got a Spyro the Dragon on PS1. Um, now I probably won't explain like where I got everything else, except unless it's something specific. I should have made. You know what? I'm gonna cut the video off here and then start it again because I don't know how long this has taken yet. Um, so I'll be back in a moment.